Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So after finishing chapter 44, unfortunately I didn't get to film that due to my iPad crashing yet again, you are able to obtain all four elemental weapons, and then now you can challenge the elementals again for a total of three times in order to get their materials to craft the weapon up to plus 10 attributes. And you only have to beat it three times. Now, uh, each battle becomes progressively harder. And also, um, you are allowed to use the essence to protect yourself. You'll still get the drop even if you do use the essence. So why make it hard for yourself? Make it easy for yourself. You can see that the team I'm bringing is actually the same team I bring into Ratley Otherlands, uh, Area 3 and 4. So this is my all water team. Keep in mind that if you don't use the essence, you'll face a boss that has no weakness to water. Anyways, um, pretty straightforward for the first round. The damage is still relatively manageable, so make sure you have Aqua Wall and Aurora Force up. And just get a full AF bar. And if you've watched my other Otherland Ratley videos, you'll know that I always have Annabelle and Mario out before the AF, being that Mario can bring in the slowest mage, Mighty, and then Annabelle being relatively slow will bring in Levia so that it can boost um, intelligence of Mighty, and then we'll activate one AF. Note that I didn't have a full AF, but because of all water attribute attacks, it keeps on boosting the AF bar all the way to the top. So at this point, I had more than three quarters of the AF bar left, and it was an easy finish. So let's just stack on a few extra hits and see how much damage we do. Alright. 3 million. Not bad. Um, again, with this team, if I land the right attributes, I can get about 3.7 to 3.8 million. So that's something to target. Um, if you do land um, a bunch of hits and you want to maximize your damage. Alright, that's the first go around. Round 2. Fight! So you can see that the uh, dialogue between Salamander uh, and yourself is exactly the same. And so when I took on this boss, I was wondering how much more difficult it will be. So let's see. We'll start off the same way. Uh, shield up for Aqua Wall as well as Aurora Force. Lay the damage with the two um, other characters. So you can notice that um, the speed of the boss is increasing, so something to keep in mind. The moves are exactly the same, so it is a, a five turn rotation. You don't have to kill the back in order for it to fall onto its belly. You can actually attack the enemy itself directly. So um, your choice whether or not you want to um, have it fall or not. In the first battle, I don't believe I even targeted the back. I, I just laid direct damage to its uh, body. So you can see the damage is still relatively manageable. Less than a thousand damage uh, for each AoE attack. And again, similar setup to before. Now one thing you do have to keep in mind is the moveset for um, the salamander lying down is different from the moveset of the salamander with its um, back raised. Okay, so after a couple turns, it's come back up. And we should be able to end it here with one large EF. So let's take a look. Note that there is a bar of HP for the back, but we are not targeting the back. We're just going to target the main body like I said earlier. And again, when you're looking at my AF bar, the boss's HP is down to less than a quarter and lots of hits left to go. And my bar is already uh, still more than half. So uh, again, if you have an all water DPS, a single AF bar will do the trick for the second battle as well. And we have the mage finisher. 
so 3.7 million or so. Not bad. Better than the first round anyways. Okay, so we obtained another uh, crafting material, the fire crystal. One more to go. Round three, fight. Okay, so this one, I will say, is a lot tougher than the first two battles. I did have to do it a few times just to kind of manage the time timing of the battle. You can see that the AoE, even with the uh, Aurora Force, is dealing a thousand plus damage now, so you know this is almost at full power here. Okay. Again, um, for this particular battle, it's very important to note that you will want to watch the five turn rotation because at the end of the fifth turn, a uh, salamander summons a minimander, uh, which is, looks like one of those fish that you meet at the beginning of Purgatory. Now, the problem with that one is not only does it do damage as well, which is in, which is in its own form, fire AoE and targets like that, it can also slightly heal the boss as well. So it's just another nuisance to deal with. So my re recommendation is to set up one AF to trigger um, on the turn right after this, which is the fifth turn. And you can see by the t attack, that particular attack, um, which is a volcanic shower, will bring out um, the Minimander. So if you don't kill it, I believe it will multiply, um, which would overrun your team. So you can see I um, have set up my full AF here. Same rotation as before. Now we're going to target the first few hits onto the Minimander and then the rest of it onto the body of Salamander itself. Now note that even though I'm laying a lot of hits similar to the first two battles, I am not able to deal a significant amount to actually drain uh, the entire HP bar of Salamander. And a few stray hits are going to the back for some whatever reason, so I'm not really sure about that. Either way, uh, with my current team, I'm not able to kill this incarnation of Salamander in one turn. So because of that, I would recommend during one of the AF rounds, um, before you know the AF bar runs out, use Aqua Wall cast by um, Mighty so that at least your Nikkei can survive the turn after AF ends. So you can see that um, I was able to successfully survive that and bring in Mario to um, revive and heal the team. After that, the goal is to um, try to make it through the next round of five um, and set up an AF uh, before the Minimander is summoned again. And if it is, use your AF bar to kill it. When I was running this uh, battle a few times, there were times that I was getting uh, close to running out of um, MP. But in this case, you can see by leaving uh, the characters in the back as I was setting the AF, a couple of turns of recovery was enough to um, carry through the entire of, of the battle. And again, it's really important because this is a fully powered version to have both shields up if possible. I don't believe this may be that easy to do if you don't have a full DPS water team. Okay, so again, you can notice that volcanic shower attack and Mini Mander is now out to play. And the boss still has more than a third life, closer to half actually. So. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill it this turn. Note that I had Annabelle out, so I might as well use Holy Saber and try to mitigate some of the um, magical AoE damage. So at this point, I was going to set up the AF right away. However, um, Annabelle's life is too critically low to rotate out. So I cast Pure Cradle and I'm doing the full rotation. Now. Note that Annabelle is quite slow, and so unfortunately she got um, caught with an attack before the Levia was able to be rotated in. If you're worried about speed, then recommend you to um, equip a speed badge. Now, Annabelle only has a power badge, and so uh, in future preparations I would recommend a speed badge if you are using her. That being said, uh, she did survive that turn, 
and I was able to rotate my full rotation out to lay a second AF bar attack onto Salamander's main body. And you can see with the second bar, it was able to de deal enough damage to kill it off. So um, all in all, fairly tough boss. You really have to be careful um, not to get caught with the mini manor out without you using an AF, in my opinion. All right, so there you have it. All three battles. Nice. So now we're going to drop off the materials at the Emporium and see how far along we can get in terms of um, enhancing the Fire Spirit Sword, which is the one attributed to Salamander. Now, the special power of this one is that all regular um, attacks now have a fire attribute. On top of that, um, it does increase uh, the damage and uh, it does increase the resistance of fire. And note that the uh, um, name of the special power is Salamander's Protection. Wow! Nice! Great success! So again, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, a great success means that um, in the rare chance, when you're evolving and upgrading, it skips two levels instead of just one. So you save one level's worth of materials. And of course, you always want those to happen in the later uh, times so that the more expensive or rare materials um, are saved. Of course, you can't be, uh, you know, choosing your luck. So you can see I got all the way to plus 8 here and I ran out of materials and the rest of the materials are from Toto Dreamland's uh, Very Hard Another Dungeon. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.